This video presentation will focus on whole notes. The big concept of this lesson is that you will focus on measuring and modeling different types of holes before creating 3D models of different parts. So let's take a look at hole and hole nodes. Did you know that there are a variety of hole types? How can we tell the difference when we're designing and building? We use hole notes to differentiate between the different types of holes. These hole notes are included on any technical drawings and outline the specifications needed for each hole. So what types of holes are there? There are three basic types that include simple, counterbore, and countersink. Each type of hole is classified as a through hole or a blind hole. So what's the difference between a through or a blind hole? A through hole extends completely through a component while a blind hole extends partially through a component. The type of hole depends on the purpose of the hole and the hardware that it might need to accommodate, such as a screw or a pin. Here's a diagram of a set of through holes and a set of blind holes. In this diagram, you can see that we have a simple counterbore and countersink through hole. In this diagram, we have a blind simple hole, a blind counterbore hole, and a blind countersink hole. In the actual side view, we have a section view that illustrates that these holes come all the way through the object, while these holes only come partially through. So let's take a look at some hole notes. You can communicate the type and size of a hole with a hole note on technical drawings. Hole notes describe the size dimensions of a hole in a single note. There are a variety of symbols that help us figure out what type of hole we need to create. These are the symbols that are most often used. Diameter, depth, countersink, and counterbore. Let's take a look at an example. On the left, you can see the hole diagram, and then we have the hole note to the right. So let's try and decipher what this hole note means. First, we know it's a counterbore hole because of the shape that's indicated in the diagram. We also know based upon this symbol right here in the hole note. We have a 0.375 diameter located at the bottom for the inner diameter of this hole. A counterbore hole has two different diameters, an inner diameter and an outer diameter. The overall depth of this hole is two inches. That's indicated in the hole note with this symbol indicating two inches of depth. We then have a 0.75 diameter hole that is counterbored or cut to a depth of 0.5. That's indicated in this area right here as the counterbore. Notice that the size of the smaller diameter and longer length cut is listed first. In counterbore and countersink holes, the smaller diameter cut always has a greater length than the larger diameter hole and is always listed first. So let's take a look at another example. Here we have a different hole type in the hole diagram and the hole note over here. This is a countersink hole that's indicated by the shape as well as this, di this symbol in the hole note. This includes the angle of the cut from the top surface to the smaller diameter hole rather than the depth of the countersink. The angle of the cut is 82 degrees. So this whole note reads that we have a small an inner diameter of 0.25 inches with a depth of 2.25, that it's a countersink hole, and that the countersink has a diameter of one inch at, a, at 82 degrees. So let's take another look. This is a picture of a drill block. It's a model you'll be creating later. The drill block has four different types of holes. So this image illustrates how hole notes are shown on a drawing of the drill block. You can see that they're illustrated with this arrow pointing to the hole that they represent. Study the drill block drawing and identify how different types of through holes and blind holes are identified. How many holes do you see and what types are there? So I can see a standard hole that's through and has a 0.5 diameter located right here. There's also a counterbore hole that is blind with a 0.375 inner diameter with a depth of two. 
and a 0.75 outer diameter with a depth of 0.5. Next, there's a countersink hole that is also blind, has a 0.25 diameter with a depth of 2.25. It's indicated as countersink, and the countersink diameter is one inch with an angle of 82 degrees. The last hole is a counterbore hole with, that is a through hole with 0.5 inner diameter, 0.75 outer diameter, and a depth of 0.625. This image is the complete technical drawing for the drill block. You'll be using this to create the drill block inside of your 3D modeling software.